That's so brilliant. This video is sponsored by Case Filters. my friends a very good morning i'm so excited today this is the best time of the year to photograph fantastic spring woodland photographs and the thing is this time of year doesn't last ooh, all long because uh oh man here's much of water here <laughs> yeah. yeah this time of year doesn't last all long because yeah i mean the lush greens we have them for some weeks maybe yeah up to june even but uh, the thing is you know, the one trees start uh, right now, some trees uh, follow them and so on. So in the beginning, not all trees are green and so we have fantastic contrasts, uh, much better contrast than we would have in, let's say, June or so. Uh, we, are, we anyway have a little bit of lusher greens than in August or so, but anyway, uh, we don't have the contrast. Everything is green and so when you struggle with woodland because everything is green, go out right now. This is the time of year. It's really, really magic out here. So fantastic. It is amazing. The weather is a little bit tricky today. We had a, a little bit of inversion when I, I came here, when I drove here. But it resolved already a little bit. And I'm not sure how long it will uh, last that the, the sun will come through. Fingers crossed that we will have, uh, I would say, an hour, maybe, or two. Forgetting, <laughs> yeah, a really great uh, woodland photograph. So I would say, let's see what's possible here. Uh, this is what I meant before when it when everything is green, when everything is too green, where not all the many contrasts there and where. Um, yeah, I think um, it was on point in my last video. I think this is just four days ago or something like that when I recorded my last video. So that's really interesting. It's already further than I thought. But anyway, I, I hope that we will find something. I'm not prepared. Um, it's good to prepare uh, for woodland photography when you know already some spots where you can go, some compositions maybe. Uh, but I, I really, I more and more like this kind of woodland photography, especially in woodland photography when I, I don't prepare anything, when I just go out and uh, just with hex and really look uh, what looks fantastic. And when I find anything, I will take a shot. It's really, it's all relaxing. And relaxing is such an important part of uh, landscape photography generally. I'm not sure how you think about that. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. Would really be interesting. Oh man, it looks fantastic. Ah, it's so fantastic here. It is amazing. And what's quite interesting here, I, I, I got attracted by this tree here because everything is green here, as I already mentioned before. But just one branch here <laughs> has yeah, uh, red leaves. What's, what's amazing, isn't it? I mean, um, it would be good now to, to get the close-up of that, to tell the story of, of this tree. I thought about that. Uh, maybe I will anyway do it later. I don't know. Um, I, I, I think it's, it's better to photograph this entire scene here with uh, all the trees back there, with this depth here, um, with, with this tree here at the right hand side to, to frame my image a little bit, also that tree um, at the left hand side. I have this bush here in the foreground, it gets illuminated a little bit from the light, so the light comes from, from the side here in this case, it illuminates uh, the, the, the foliage and the foliage back there is a little bit more in the shadow, a little bit more light there. And this, this gives a little, really fantastic contrast, I really like that. And also the plasticity of this tree, we can't see it here now from that perspective, just from the perspective of the camera. Uh, we have this uh, fantastic uh, play between, uh, yeah, you know, uh, shadow and light and so, and this looks really, really fantastic, I really like that. And uh, I had to tweak a little bit uh, with this composition uh, because yeah, uh, we also have this fantastic conifer tree uh, in the center of this of this image of this composition, and it was quite tricky to yeah to to, 
to put it to the right place, to be honest, because you know in Woodland there's so much going on when you want to place one element anywhere, it's like uh, yeah, solving a Ruby cube or something like that, because you have to consider all the other elements that everything works together. I decided for a center position uh, for this uh, conifer tree, I'm not sure if you can see that, this black uh, dark tree back there. Um, between the red branch and uh, the green branch uh, up there. And this looks really, really fantastic. I also like this uh, diagonal that wood here uh, down. That wood is always fantastic. It tells a fantastic story in Woodland. It is amazing. Yeah, I didn't expect that we would get that much green already. As I already mentioned, just I think four days ago was my last video where you uh, have yeah, seen me photographing the first foliage. And now everything is green already. Not everything. There and where possibilities for getting a fantastic contrast. Here I found the red branch and the darker uh, tree back there and I would say let's make the click. We get a little bit more light through now. I'm not sure if you can see that uh, back there. Uh, there comes a little bit more direct sunlight through and the foliage starts amazingly to glow. And uh, I got attracted by this scene here with these trees here at the right hand side, this uh, stump, this tree trunk here. And yeah, uh, this, this, uh, I really like the, the play between shadow and, and light here in this scene. We have also the trees here at the left hand side, uh, this big tree in the distance. And we also have uh, a little bit of uh, um, mist back there, but what looks really fantastic, what, uh, what adds really to this composition because it makes it uh, more simple, it makes it more simple because back there is a uh, lot going on with the mountains, with snow on and so on, other trees and so many many lines. It's better to do it uh, in that way, uh, yeah I mean <laughs> when, you, when you have mist, uh, you, you need mist therefore, um, otherwise it would not work actually. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> before I, I showed that scene, I just turn around and, and photograph here now in that direction. We also had light uh, before uh, from the side, so uh, it's always good to photograph uh, with light from the side or with, with backlight. It's not good with front light, um, the foliage doesn't really come out. Uh, we want to pop it really fantastically out and that's, that's what we're going to do here now. I have a circular polarizer on, also for the shot before. I'm at f16 because I need to get quite lots into focus, a uh, really high depth of field. It's uh, quite uh, far back there and uh, I need to, I mean, it can get a little bit more soft in the distance. I don't have a problem with that, uh, but I want to have everything sharp in the foreground and this transition, it, it, it adds really this softness to the image and I really, really like that. And I would say as the fog is fantastically up there and also the light, let's make the click. <laughs> it is amazing. I'm currently jumping really from one corner to the other. It's not the best uh, thing in, in photography actually. Uh, it, it's good to, to have a composition, to find your need, to tweak on it and so on. But it's really, it's a good idea also to, to look what the light is doing. And at the moment what I've seen is I, I got attracted by, by this tree here and how the sun interacted with, uh, with the foliage. It's already over. I got it totally to glow a little bit maybe. We had the sun a little bit more, more down before. And uh, yeah, uh, straight be behind the tree, the, the entire cloud up there was illuminated and it, it really it came through. It burned out. I don't have a biggest problem with that here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, b because uh, it's really fantastic. We, we, can, we can even, yeah, uh, what, what Nelson Mandela said, if you can't uh, defeat your enemy, uh, make him a friend. 
I think he said anything different, but doesn't really matter. You know what I mean. And uh, in, in this case, I really I have this shining through here, and this looks really, really fantastic. It's just it's a simple composition, actually. We have this tree, we have the foliage to the left, we have the foliage to the right, and it's really fantastic. Conditions are really, really amazing when you look up there. The sun is still behind the mist and it's shining through softly. It's really fantastic. I think it's better to stick here uh, through the woodland. It's not good, good to go out here to the clearance. It's good to, to be at the edge of the, of the clearance. Ooh, be careful here. I will I got, I keep my camera here at the moment. Just looking for something else. I, I'm not sure if it's possible. It's so much green, so much green. It is amazing. That's too much green, to be honest. That's not good, that's really not good. I, I've lost my lens hood, so <laughs> it is amazing. Uh, when, I, when I walk anywhere there, I don't know where I've walked already. That's not good, I have, to, I have to find it, it's not good. Where is it? Where have I been? Yeah, <laughs> I found it. Uh, yeah, I had to change uh, my batteries from a vlogging camera and uh, I had a lot of stress, as I already mentioned, because the light is amazing. It was fantastic. It's still fantastic. But I, I found it now, but I, I lost, uh, I think, 20 minutes now for, <laughs> for finding this, uh, this lens hole. But uh, I think anyway, I will go a little bit in that direction. I will let everything here, but just go there, have a look. And uh, when, when anything is there, because uh, it's better to walk around without gear. I will um, yeah, put the lens hole <laughs> yeah, here into my bag here now. That's safe. <laughs> um, Maybe it's possible to find something because again, the light is amazing. We have to photograph in that direction. Now we look here. I think I'm already a bit close to the mountain here right now. And here it's, yeah, it's lots of uh, dead wood there and where I mean cut by humans' hands and just bushes there and where it, uh, it doesn't look uh, promising here, I have to say. So I think I will uh, return there and look a little bit more in the other direction. Maybe, uh, yeah, we have a better chance there. And you know, there's only one way to find out. I found one more composition, uh, these twin trees here. And here this uh, old um, tree trunk, uh, this cut tree by human hands. Yeah, uh, I always um, try to avoid things like that in a, in a landscape scene actually. But uh, the thing is, it's part of our landscape. It's maybe also a little bit of a documentary thing, uh, what's happening with our world and so with our landscapes. Uh, humans are cutting trees and so. Uh, but yeah, however, I think it gives a fantastic story contrast here between these trees, uh, these uh, twin trees, these uh, living twin trees here at the uh, right hand side and at the left hand side the dead old tree trunk. And I, I like the, um, yeah, this uh, kind of uh, umbrella uh, what this tree builds, it's truly really fantastic. Um, I like also the direction of the light, to be honest, um, yeah, unfortunately the light is not the best anymore. It's already too harsh for doing woodland photography. I tried for something, um, yeah, something more creative. I'm also quite close here with uh, my camera to the first elements, this foliage up there. So it's really difficult. You can't really focus stack in, in woodland. That's, uh, yeah, you know, the foliage is always uh, moving, so you can't stack really the image. There will always be any stacking mistakes inside.
liked uh, this day out here, although it was a little bit frantic from time to time. Yeah, I lost my lens hood. I'm happy that I found it again. I, I'm happy with the compositions I got, with the images I got. Uh, my friends, I hope you also enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up. And don't forget to join me next week. That will become a fantastic video as well. I picked out this video here for you to watch next. And I thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.